velocity of a projectile at any instant of time. In today's session, we are going to learn about how to find out the velocity of a projectile at any instant of time or at any location during projectile motion. Projectile is fired at angle theta with horizontal and velocity u. This projectile motion can be considered as a combination of two independent motions in x and y direction. The component of u in x direction is ux and in y direction it is uy. At time t, the location of projectile is xy and its velocity v which makes an angle theta dash with horizontal. It has horizontal component Vx and vertical component Vy. We can represent this velocity in vector form as V equal to Vxi plus Vyz, where Vx is the V cos theta dash and this is constant. So this is equal to U cos theta, the initial component of velocity in x direction. In during projectile motion, the acceleration in horizontal direction is zero. Now to find out the velocity in vertical direction at any instant of time, we have to analyze the motion in y direction. Here acceleration is g in downward direction because of gravity. The initial velocity in vertical direction is u sin theta and vertical velocity vy at point p is given by equation of motion for constant acceleration. Similarly, the motion along x-axis give you the velocity in x-direction. By using these two information, the velocity in vertical direction and horizontal direction at any instant of time or at any point on the trajectory of the projectile, we can find out the velocity of the projectile. Here, the direction of the projectile is given by the ratio of vertical velocity divided by horizontal velocity. Now let's try a problem on basis of whatever we have learned. Here a projectile is fired with initial velocity 250 meters per second at angle 37 with horizontal direction. In part A we have to find out the velocity of the projectile at 7.5 second. What is given here is initial velocity and angle of projection. What to find out? The velocity at time t equal to 7.5 second. So we are going to use the formulas of velocity which can be given at any location as a function of vx and vy and where vx is nothing but the constant velocity in horizontal direction which is u cos theta and vy can be calculated by using the equation of motion for constant acceleration. So for part A, we need to find out Vx and Vy so that we can find out the velocity and angle theta at that instant of time. To find out Vx, we should know Ux, the initial velocity in x direction and initial velocity in y direction. Ux is nothing but u cos 37 which is equal to 250 multiplied by 4 by 5. Cos 37 is 4 by 5 and this is equal to 200 meters per second. Similarly, the velocity in y direction, the initial velocity is u sine 37 and this is equal to 250 multiplied by 3 by 5 and this is equal to 150 meters per second. So now we can find out the vx which is a constant horizontal velocity of projectiles equal to ux and this is equal to 200 meters per second. But to find out the velocity in y direction, we have to use the constant motion equation for constant acceleration which is equal to uy minus g t. And uy here we have find out 150 meters per second. So 150 minus g we take 10 and time t is given as 7.5 second. So this will be equal to 75 meters per second. So we got the velocity in y direction and x direction. So v can be find out by using this formula and this is equal to v equal to vx square which is 200 square 
plus Vy which is 75 square 213.6 meter per second and the angle theta is equal to 10 inverse Vy is 75 by 200 and this is equal to 10 inverse 0 0.375 which is equal to approximate angle 20.5 degree. In part B, we have to find out the velocity of a projectile at a distance of 3000 meter from point of projection. So what we have, we have ux, ui and angle of projection. And what we have to find out, we have to find out the velocity of the projectile at a displacement of 3000 meter. To find out the velocity, we need to find out the x component and y component of velocity at x equal to 3000 meters. So by using the given information we can find out the time t when the projectile reaches to 3000 meter in horizontal direction. So in horizontal direction the displacement 3000 meters is equal to the constant velocity in x direction which is 200 meters per second and the time to cover this distance. So here t is equal to 15 seconds. We can find out the velocity in vertical direction after 15 seconds from the time of projection. To find out that we need to use the equations of motion for constant acceleration in vertical direction. So here vy is equal to uy minus gt and here uy is equal to 150 meters per second and g is 10 meter per second square here time is 15 second so this become 150 minus 150 which is 0 so the vertical velocity or velocity of the projectile along the y direction is 0 so it means the projectile is at its highest point and it has only horizontal velocity which is vx and equal to ux equal to 200 meters per second which is from here okay so the projectile velocity at a distance of 3000 meter can be given as 200 square plus 0 square square root and this is equal to 200 meters per second in horizontal direction so theta is equal to 0 degree now it is a time for question for you a projectile is fired with velocity u at angle theta with horizontal direction. And you have to tell us how the values of projectile velocity and angle theta varies during the flight of projectile. You can give your answers as a increasing or decreasing. And that's all we have for today's session. I hope you would have enjoyed this. If you think you have learned something new today, then please click like button and subscribe us for similar type of videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.